Welcome to Gaia to Yoga, my friends. My name is Christina and I'm super excited to start Road to Self Love Challenge with you today. Today's Vinyasa Yoga class is focused on preparing your body to enter your wild thing pose safely and comfortably, deepen your back bends by preparing your front body, quadriceps, front of the hips, chest and shoulders, and back body to deepen your back bends and open up your heart for self love and self acceptance. As I mentioned in the previous video, the challenge would have daily winners, and today's video is brought to you by Manhart. They manufacture high quality, stylish, reusable liquid bottles. And I can't wait to see one of you win this bottle and post a pic on Instagram with it. I really believe that you will love this bottle. It's a super lightweight travel mug that can keep your drink or juice cold for up to 24 hours and your tea or coffee hot for up to eight hours. It comes in a beautiful gun slate color, very stylish, thin and super, super lightweight. And even if you don't win the bottle today, you can use the link below with the coupon code to get a discount on any bottle in their line. So let's start the practice. You would need your mat and I encourage you to use your block and belt in case you need to modify. Don't worry about having to modify. This is your practice, this is your journey and nobody will ever judge you wherever you are in your practice. Alright friends, today's practice will begin on our backs. We'll lie down on our mat, starting in our Shavasana position, extending your arms, extending your legs, and beginning to focus on your breathing, on the quality of your inhales and exhales. Observing the sensations, observing how your body and mind are feeling today. As you exhale, visualize your body melting into the earth. Inhaling. Your heart is reaching up towards the sun. And exhaling, giving all the tired, all the stress, all the tension to the earth. Inhaling, reaching the heart to the sun, visualizing the sun energy entering your heart. And as you exhale, melt in your back ribs into the mat, giving anything that doesn't serve you back to the earth. Relaxing your jaw, relaxing your face muscles, your fingers, your arms, your shoulders. When you're ready, bend your right knee and start reaching your right thigh in towards the chest. Bring your palms on top of the shin. Inhale, lift your head, neck and shoulders off the mat and reach your nose towards the knee, knee towards the nose. And now keeping your shoulders lifted, start extending your right leg, keeping your palms at the back of your leg and gently applying some <coughs> pressure to reach your thigh towards the chest, keeping your leg as straight as you can. You can point and flex your foot, move your ankle in a circular direction, changing the direction. Maybe you can make a little circles with your leg. Inhale and exhale slowly, start returning your shoulders and head back to the mat. Bending your right knee and now sending your knee to the left, finding a twist in your back and keeping your right shoulder on the mat, extending your right palm and gazing to the right. Breathing here, relaxing your low back as much as you can. Inhale and exhale, gently release. 
and slowly roll back to your spine and now lower the right foot down extend your right leg bend your left knee bring your knee in towards the chest bring your palms on top of the shin and start activating the core press your tailbone into the mat and lift your head neck and shoulders off the mat reach your nose towards the knee squeeze your thigh in towards the chest and now see if you can extend your leg, keeping your shoulders off the mat. Applying some pressure using your bicep strength to reach your chest towards the thigh, thigh towards the chest. Reaching your right foot to the front. And maybe point and flex the foot, the toes, roll the ankle. Maybe you can make micro circles with your whole leg. Inhale, lift higher and exhale, lower your shoulders and head back down. Bend in your left knee, bring your right palm to the outside of your left knee and now send your left knee to the floor, finding a twist, keeping your left shoulder on the mat. Extend your left arm and gaze to the left. Relaxing your upper back, your middle back, your low back, maybe your outer left hip. Relaxing your face muscles. Inhale, slowly start bringing your left knee back up. And now extend your left leg. Observing the sensations in your back. Squeeze your knees in towards the chest. Bring your palms on top of the shins. Reach your nose towards the knee and start massaging your spine. You can bring your palms at the back of your thighs and start rolling forward and back, keeping your forehead as close to the knees as you can. Tucking the chin in towards the chest. Inhale and exhale, start rolling up to a seated position. Keeping your feet together as close to the hips as you can. Open your knees out, finding your butterfly pose, holding onto the feet, engaging the spine. Reaching your knees to the floor, you can start moving your head from side to side, reaching your right ear towards the right shoulder and then left ear towards the left shoulder. You can make gentle circles with your head. Letting go any tension. And then gently move your feet a little closer to the front of the mat, finding a diamond shape with your legs and bringing your palms on top of the shins, holding onto the shins, lift through the heart, reach the, the heart up towards the sky and draw your shoulders back and down. S beginning to warming up, beginning to warm up our spine, our back muscles and as you lift through the heart, try to create an arch in your back. Inhale, lift through the heart. And exhale, start rounding, sending your back. Sending your spine back, rounding your back. Tucking the chin in towards the chest. Inhale, lift through the heart. Roll your biceps out. And exhale, round. Reach the chin towards the chest. As you roll the biceps out, observe the sensations in your shoulders. Keep sending your shoulder blades to the back of the room. Find the space between the shoulder blades. Pull the navel in. Inhale, lift through the heart. Exhale, round. Inhale, return to neutral. From here, cross your legs, 
finding your easy pose or if you wish half lotus or lotus. And now start walking your palms to the front, starting to fold forward as low as you can. If you're not able to bring your elbows down, just walk your palms all the way to the front, lift the base of the wrist and reach your chest down. If you wish, you can bring your forehead all the way down to the floor. Relax in your lower back, your hips. Observing the sensations in your glutes. Relax in your middle back, your shoulders. Inhale, press the palms into the mat, lift the chest up and exhale, return to neutral. Now send your palms towards the low back, interlace the fingers. If you're not able to interlace the fingers, hold onto the belt. Squeeze the base of the wrist together if you can. Lift through the heart and squeeze your shoulder blades. Straighten your arms. Inhale. And exhale, as you activate the core, turn the chest to the right and send your arms to the left. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. <coughs> Observe the sensations. Inhale, lifting through the heart, elongating the spine. And exhale, turning the chest to the right. Now bring your palms together and now interlace the fingers and press the palms Inhale. away from you. And Push exhale, the palms gently. Away. Inhale, lift your arms Inhale. up. Keep your shoulders away from the, the ears. Don't lift and the shoulders exhale. up. Exhale, squeeze your shoulders to the down. left. Send now your arms, send your arms to the right. as far back as you can, lifting through the heart and find Keep a your nice in arch your in your middle send back. Send in your left shoulder back, right Track shoulder. Tuck the chin in towards the chest. To the left. Exhale, start rounding. Pressing the palms away Inhale, from you, tucking the, the chin, spine. keeping your shoulders away Exhale. from your ears. Stretch the back of your neck. Round the back. Observe Send the your Try not to lean too vertebrae much forward, to the back of the, the room. Send your palms away from Inhale, you. Inhale, lift through the heart. Inhale. And exhale. Exhale, lower your arms down, hand release and let go. Inhale, lift. Now, circle your elbows, warming up your elbow joints. Exhale, round. And now your wrist. Inhale, lift. Shake, shake your hands. Exhale, round. And now lift your knees. And you can move your Inhale, knees from side to side, relax your hips, your, arms, your knees. Shake. You can extend your legs, shake, relax your ankles and the toes. And now bring your feet in towards the glutes. And now lift the hips, transition into your malasana pose. Lift through the heart and sink with your pelvis all the way down to the floor as low as you can, gently moving your hips from side to side, making sure there is no any pain in your knees. Lift through the heart. And then when you're ready, lower the palms down towards the mat and slowly start extending your legs. Sending your top one up and reaching your chest down towards the thighs. You can gently walk your feet to hip distance apart. Bend your knees slightly and let your upper body relax here. Visualizing how the gravity is pulling your head down towards the earth. the blood rushing down towards your head. You can gently rock from side to side, grabbing opposite elbows. Inhale and exhale, gently let go of the hold on your elbows. Press the palms into the mat. Inhale, lift the chest, halfway up, bending your knees, straightening the spine, gazing to the front. And exhale, straighten the legs and reach your chest as much as you can towards the thighs. Inhale, lifting the chest halfway up. You can bend the knees. And exhale, extending the legs. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. 
Exhale, extend the legs. Fold forward. Inhale, lift the chest up, yeah. Exhale, extend the legs. And now inhale, bend the knees. Reach your arms up, finding your chair. Moving your feet in towards one another. Sending the hips back, making sure the knees don't go over the toes. Bring the palms towards the heart center, inhale. And exhale, turn the chest to the right. If you can hook your right, left elbow on the outside of your right thigh, press the palms together and send your right shoulder to the back of the room, making sure the knees are in one line. And if you're not able to bring the elbow here, then just extend your left arm and find your twist. Observe the sensations and keep working on elongating your spine. Breathing here, sending the hips back, rooting your feet into the mat, gazing up towards the ceiling. Inhale, and exhale, return to center. Inhale, and exhale, twist to the left. Hook your right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Press the palms together and send your left shoulder back. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Push the hips back. Make sure the right knee doesn't go over the left. Keep the knees in one straight line. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Root your feet into the mat. Inhale and exhale, gently release, returning to your center. Inhale and exhale, send your palms back. Interlace the fingers and see if you can interlace the fingers the uncomfortable way. So switch. And now lift through the heart, press the palms together, closing the base of the wrist. Squeeze your shoulder blades, pull the navel in, finding the arch in your middle back. Inhale and exhale, start turning the chest to the right. Don't move the knees and send your arms back. Observing the sensations in your right shoulder, maybe your chest, middle back. Activate the glutes, squeeze the glutes. Inhale and exhale, return to center. Lift through the heart, inhale and exhale, turn the chest to the left, send your arms back. Inhale, and exhale, return to center. Let go of the hold. Inhale, extend your arms, reach the fingertips up towards the sky. And exhale, start straightening your legs and lower your arms down. Bring your palms towards the heart center, finding your mountain pose. Inhale, lower the Hips down, bend the knees, find your chair, extend the arms. Inhale and exhale, bring your palms towards the center one more time and exhale, find the twist to the right one more time. Take the variation that works for you or maybe take it a little further if you had your arm extended. See if you can hook the elbow. Inhale and exhale, gently release. Inhale, squat a little lower, exhale, twist to the left, squeeze your inner thighs together. Observe the sensations as you send your left shoulder back. Keep elongating the spine. Inhale and exhale, gently release and the twist. Stay low with your hips and send your palms towards the lower back. Interlace the fingers the uncomfortable way. Squeeze your shoulder blades, close the base of the wrist if you can. Live through the heart. And exhale, start reaching your chest towards the thighs and arms to the front, but don't straighten your legs. Keep your knees bent, shoulders away from your ears. Squeeze the shoulder blades, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And reach the palms to the front. Breathe. 
Inhale and exhale, reach the palms to touch the floor. <clears throat> And now if you can slowly start straightening your legs. Keep reaching your chest to the thighs, shoulders away from your ears, squeezing your shoulder blades, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Elongating your neck. Inhale. And now activate the core, pull the navel in. Keep a micro bend in your knees and turn the chest to the right and send your arms to the left. Observe the sensations in your upper back and your shoulders, I feel lots of sensations in my right shoulder. Gaze up towards the sky. Inhale and exhale gently. Return to neutral, rotate the chest to face the floor. Now change the cross of your fingertips. Squeeze the shoulder blades, inhale, and exhale, turn the chest to the left. Send your arms to the right. Trying to find a rotation in your chest. Send in your left shoulder back, right shoulder kind of forward towards the left side. Inhale and exhale gently, return to neutral. Bend the knees, let go of the hold on the fingers and return to your chair, reach the fingertips up. And exhale slowly, start straightening the legs, reaching your palms down. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, step, walk or jump back into plank. Chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale, lift the hips up. Downward dog. Moving the hips from side to side. Bend your knees one at a time. And then when you already reach both heels down, Feet are hip distance apart, lift the kneecaps up, activate the quadriceps, spread the whole palms into the mat, then roll your biceps out, tuck the chin. Now bring your right palm to the outside of your left foot, ankle, to the, right, to the outside of your left ankle. Press your left palm into the mat, find your balance and start Rotating the chest to the left, gazing towards your left armpit or the ceiling. Push the hips back, straightening your legs as much as you can. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, gently release and switch sides. Bring the weight towards the right palm and with your left palm, grab outside of the right ankle or maybe the calf muscle if you're not able to reach for the ankle. Just keep striking on straightening your legs. If your heels are lifted and the knees are bent, find your ankle or shin and start twisting and then start extending your legs. Breathe, observe the sensation, sending the tailbone up. Relaxing your jaw, letting go any tension, any stress as you exhale. Inhale and exhale, gently release, lowering your knees down and pushing the hips back. And then when you're ready, gently rise up towards the knees, curl the toes and lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Again, if you need to move from side to side with the hips, letting go any tension in your low back. Inhale, 
Inhale, lift your right leg up and step it to the front of the mat, dropping your back, heel down, and rising up to your warrior one, keeping your front knee bent, back leg straight, hips are neutral. Lift through the heart. Inhale and exhale, lower the arms down, interlace the fingers behind your back. Lift through the heart, squeeze your shoulder blades, slide down your back thigh. Inhale. Activating the core, exhale, humble warrior, reach your chest to the floor, reach your palms to the front of the room. Inhale, rise up, find your back bend. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, rise up. Activate the core, exhale, fold down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold down, reach your palms to the front. Imagine you're trying to touch the floor, shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, press through the front foot, rise up. Keeping your front knee bent, let go of the hold on your palms. Lift your arms, stretch them into opposite sides. Keeping your core engaged, rooting the feet into the mat, activating the core and slightly tucking your tailbone. Start turning the chest to the right. And if this is enough, maybe stay here, or if you wish, you can add a twisted back bend. Slide your left palm down your left thigh. Activate the core, inhale, start lifting your heart up, 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 up towards the sky and then lean back, keeping your back leg straight. Observe the sensations in your back, gazing towards the floor. Inhale, slowly return back to your twisted position. Activate the core, inhale and exhale. The twist, lifting your arms up, pressing the palms together. Inhale, find your back bend. And exhale, slowly start folding down, reaching the palms to the floor, dropping your back, knee down, and walking your right foot to the outer edge of the mat, bringing the palms to the inner side of your foot, lift through the heart, find a new lizard. And if this is enough, stay here or maybe lower down to your elbows. If you wish, lift your back knee up, curling your, curling your left toes, lifting your left kneecap up, activating the quadriceps. and then lower and now extend your arms pressing your left palm into the mat finding the twist to the right so stacking your right shoulder on top of the left try not to move the hips and extending your right arm up breathing here observing the sensations and now you can add a quadriceps stretch because in order to have deeper back bends, we need to have our whole front body stretched. Not just the back, not just the chest and shoulders, but the abs, the psoas, the hip flexors, the quads. So bend your left knee and reach your right palm to grab your right left foot. And use the belt if you need to, just wrap the belt around your foot. And now, you can play with pointing the foot and reaching the heel towards the glute and then flexing it in this position. And observe how it changes the stretch. Observe the sensations. And if you want to take it a little deeper, you can lower down your left elbow. You can also gently, carefully roll from one side of your quad to another, but making sure the weight is not on the kneecap, not on the bone, but above, more like on the quadricep, on your thigh. And 
And now for somebody who wants to take it a little further, you can have your quadriceps engaged and keep reaching your heel towards the glute with your own body strength. Breathe here, observe the sensations. I feel some cramping in my hamstring because my hamstring is not used to this work. Breathe here, inhale and exhale, gently release. Now, because we'll be twisting a lot to the right side, let's do twist and walk our forearms or palms all the way to the left, as far to the left as you can. And releasing this compression in our right side of our lower back. Inhale and exhale, returning back to center. Now frame your front foot, lift your back, knee up, and step your right foot back to plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, lift the hips up, downward dog. Again, move your hips from side to side if you need to. Walk your dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Keeping your legs straight as you can, reaching your left heel down. Square the hips and reach your right foot to the back of the room. Imagine you're trying to move the imaginary wall. Breathe, observe the sensations. And now you can open the hip, rotate the hip to the right. You can bend your right knee, reaching your right knee up, up, up towards the sky, pointing your toes behind you. And if this is enough, you can stay here. You can add a couple of circles with your right leg, change the direction. And now, if you wish, you can find your wild thing pose, slowly lowering your right foot down to the floor, right behind you, as close to your left palm as you can, so your right knee is bent and left leg is straight. And now lift the hips up, be careful with your left shoulder, make sure the shoulder is above the palm, the wrist, and now lift through the heart, find your back bend. Keep Pushing the hips forward, breathe, and maybe you can almost touch the floor with your right fingertips. Breathe. Observe the sensations in the front of your hip, your belly, your chest, maybe your armpit. Inhale, slowly start rotating the chest, to the right side of the mat and then bring your right palm back down to the mat, finding your one-legged dog. Inhale and exhale, lower your right leg down. Again, move here, letting go any tension in your back body. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Square the hips, push your left heel back. Imagine you're trying to move the wall behind you. Keep working on straightening your right leg. Breathe. And now you can open your hip towards the left. Lift your left leg as high as you can. Now point the toes, bending your knee, reaching your heel towards the glute and reaching your knee up, up, up towards the ceiling. And either stay here, maybe add a couple of circles, big, big, big circles. And change the direction. And stay here. Or you can slowly descend your left foot down to the floor as close to your right palm as you can. So slightly lean your shoulders forward, start rotating the chest to the right, dropping your right heel down and then lowering your left toes, lifting the hips up, finding your wall thing pose.
inhale and exhale slowly return back one-legged dog exhale lower your left leg down again move here letting go any tension in your back body inhale lift your left leg up and step it to the front of the mat drop your back heel down rise up warrior one lift through the heart Inhale and exhale. Lower your palms down until you lace the fingers. Squeeze the palms together. Start reaching your elbows towards one another, straightening your arms. Lift through the heart. Inhale, squeeze the glutes and slide your palms down your back thigh. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, start folding down, reach your chest to the thighs. Tucking the chin, reaching your palms towards the floor. Press through the front foot. Inhale, rise up, back bend. Exhale, fall down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fall down. Inhale, rise up. Letting go of the hold on your palms. Inhale, extend your arms to the sides. Activate the glutes. Start rotating the chest to the left. Keep reaching your arms into opposite directions. And now you can add the back bend. Slide your left palm down your right thigh. Inhale, lift your right thumb up. Elongate the spine, reach your heart up, up, up towards the sky. Sink a little lower and find your back bend. Keeping your back leg as straight as you can. Activate the core. Inhale, rise back up to your twisted position. Keeping your shoulders over the hips. Exhale, return to face the front of the room. Inhale, lift your arms up. Place the palms together, interlace the fingers. <clears throat> Activate the core, squeeze the glutes. Inhale, lift your heart up, draw your shoulders down. Finding your back bend. Inhale and exhale, return to neutral, lower the palms down, framing your front foot, dipping your back knee down, and now bring your left palm to the inner side of your left foot, walking your left foot to the outer edge of the mat. Finding your lizard, observing the sensations, slowing down your breathing if your heart rate is up making pauses between the inhales and exhales. If you wish, you can lower down to your elbows and maybe you can bring one elbow down and one on top of the block if you cannot reach both down. Relaxing your pelvis. Observing the sensations in your left glute, your right uh, front of the hip. If you wish, you can curl your back toes and lift your back knee up, activating the quadricep. Inhale and exhale, lower your back knee down. And now let's add a twist, extend your arms, press your right palm into the mat and start turning the chest to the left, stacking your shoulders. And if this is enough, stay here, maybe extend your left arm up. Or adding your quadriceps stretch. Bending your right knee, reaching your left palm to grab the foot. You can point the toes and reach the heel towards the glute. And now maybe walk your palm towards the ankle. And now 
use your bicep strength to not let the uh, leg go move away and flex the foot and see if it deepens the stretch. Maybe you can take it deeper by lowering your right elbow down to the mat and staying twisted here and maybe rolling from one side of your quadriceps stretch of your quadriceps to another. Breathe. And now activate the core, activate the glutes, activate the hamstring, keep flexing the foot and let go of the holds on your leg. So release the palm, breathe. Feel your back, your leg muscles working. Inhale and exhale, gently release. Relax. And now let's walk our torso away from your left thigh. Elongate in the spine. You can extend your left arm to the front. Breathing. Inhale and exhale, gently return back to center. Extending your arms, framing your front foot, lifting your back, knee up. Step your left foot back to plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, lift the hips up, downward dog. Tuck in the chin. Lifting the kneecaps up. Lowering your knees down and pushing the hips back. And the next move will be optional, just to give you a little bit of fun times. You can either transition to your backs or you can roll to your back. So rise up into a squatted position, press the palms into the mat right in front of you, lift the hips. And now start rolling your head, neck, shoulders and spine down, finding yourself in your dandasana and then lower down. So when you do that, make sure you bring the weight not to the crown of the head, but to the back of your head or the neck. Inhale. Oops. And exhale, it was painful. And from here, you can roll one vertebra by vertebra at a time. Now squeeze your knees in towards the chest and roll your spine. And then you can make circles with opening and closing your knees. You can take a happy baby pose by grabbing your big toes and reaching your knees towards the floor. and now extend your legs. And if this is enough, you can stay here and observe the sensations, let the blood rush down from your feet. Or you can take your shoulder stand, press the palms into the mat and reach your legs up. Bring your palms towards your lower back, middle back, and see if you can slightly walk your elbows in. Be careful, make sure the weight is not on your neck, but on the shoulders, reaching reaching your feet up, 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 lifting the kneecaps up, and then slowly start reaching your feet down, taking your halasana plow pose, extending your arms, pressing the palms into the mat.
squeeze your inner thighs together and slowly start rolling out one vertebra by vertebra at a time using your core to control keep squeezing your thighs in towards your belly and then keeping your core engaged squeezing your heels together pointing the toes keeping your legs straight lowering the legs down Bring your right knee in towards the chest and twist, sending your right knee to the left, gazing to the right, extending your arm to the right. Inhale and exhale, gently release and switch sides. Extend your right leg, bend your left knee and send your left knee to the right. Rotate the chest to the left, extend your left arm. And then when you're ready to finish the practice, start wiggling your toes, your fingers. You can stretch your arms overhead. Bring your knees in towards the chest. And then slowly roll to your right side for your fetal position. And then gently build your way up to a seated position. Crossing your legs. Taking a moment to observe how you feel after the practice. Maybe there's a little less chatter in your head. A little less fears in your heart. Inhale, lift your arms up. And now start crossing your arms and giving yourself a big, 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 big hug. And now taking a moment to talk to yourself, telling yourself how much you love yourself, how much you deserve the best in this life. Letting go of any fears, any past negative experiences or memories. giving yourself a promise that you will be caring for yourself as much as you care for others. That you will be giving yourself necessary time, attention, love. Because in order to receive the outside love and attention, we need to make sure we have the love for ourselves.
Thank you guys for joining me for this practice. I hope you feel great. I feel so calm and at peace. Like I, I don't have anything going on in my mind. I just, it's just so quiet and it's kind of strange. <laughs> so I hope you feel the same. Please invite your friends to join us for this journey. Share on Instagram, on Facebook. Leave me a comment how you feel. Press the like button. Support me on Patreon or join on my Playbook channel. And to be practice again, namaste.